Hey everybody, Casmo here, and today we're going to talk about firing the ATGMs from the hind. The 9M114 Sturm, or NATO designation AT6 Spiral, is a 1970s era anti-tank missile developed by the Soviet Union and saw extensive use in Afghanistan as well as continues to serve across the globe. The AT-6 has an unclassified range of 5 kilometers and a warhead capable of penetrating 56 centimeters of rolled homogenous armor. It's guided by a semi-active command line of sight radio system controlled via a camera sighting system on the nose of the hind. So the first step is set up. We'll start in the front seat and it's got a pretty easy flow. Working from left to right, first we flip the circuit breaker bar here on the left wall, then look right of center on the dashboard and hit the missile power switch. Continue right to this control panel and flip the power switch, then back to the far right wall and bring power up for the site. Wait approximately three minutes for the missiles to be armed and ready for employment. In the back seat, simply ensure the weapon selector switch is set to off or missile, which is the far right selection, and bring the armament panel to armed. If air starting your aircraft and flying single player, make sure you jump in the back seat and adjust the weapon select switch as it defaults to the 30mm cannon. Back to the front seat, we can select a missile station and look for the green light, indicating that indeed a missile is located on that station. I highly recommend mapping this control for ease of use. Once the system is powered and a missile is selected, you will receive the following feedback. Now we're ready to engage. Once the aircraft is stable, flip open the sensor door with the B2 Observe switch, another that I highly recommend you map. Flip the switch and enter the site view. If the site isn't open, double check that the back seat is selected for missile and not another weapon system. It takes approximately 5 or 6 seconds for the site to operate once the door is open, so don't panic if nothing is moving right away. Now you can slew with whatever you have mapped as controls and find your target. Give guidance to your backseater to make gentle adjustments to bring the nose in line with your target, or order Petrovich to align with your sensor via the AI controls. Keep in mind that the shoot cue envelope is very narrow, both horizontally and vertically. The nose has to be extraordinarily aligned with the target to get the shoot cue, indicated by a red glow in the sight and an audible tone. At low altitude and around 200 kph, you shouldn't have an issue getting the shoot cue. At high altitudes or nose high attitudes, however, the angle may be out of constraints. This can be circumvented by bringing the sight up into constraints, firing, then slowly bringing the sight back down to the target. Keep in mind that the faster you move the sight, the more the missile will overcorrect, so make your movement slow and deliberate. Also, I suggest only making those types of engagements at a longer range to give the missile and yourself time to adjust to the target. Once you have an impact, and if the range is still long enough, you can quickly engage another target either by rapidly adjusting the aircraft course and sensor orientation to a new target, or by firing the missile along the same path and adjust the sensor aim point just as before. From. Ultimately, the AT-6 isn't a hard weapon to put into use, but it does have some quirks, and the accuracy is marginal. It's an arcane system by modern standards, but can be used to thin out short-range anti-aircraft systems prior to rolling in with rockets and guns. Well, I hope you guys learned something from the video. Again, there's not a whole lot of controls, but doing them in sequence can sometimes be a little confusing, sure. and quite frankly, I was frustrated several times while trying to make this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Of course, you can join our Discord, the Low Level Hell. Link is in the description below, as well as check out my podcast. We'll talk to you guys later. Appreciate everyone watching. See you around. Okay, so boom. All right, we're two and a half Ks. Rifle. And I still have plenty of time, so we could have probably fired later on that other one, too.